Hey guys, Biggie here. I wanted to show you a really simple X edit guide or SSE edit guide on just how to make a very simple patch and why patching is necessary and why load order won't always save you. So when you launch up uh, X edit with whichever um, mod organizer you're using, you're going to be greeted with this module selection. Now, most of the time you can just leave it as is by default. It'll just select everything that you have enabled in your mod organizer. Uh, if you want to edit things that aren't enabled in your mod organizer, then you can go ahead and check those two. Uh, you won't be able to uh, add anything that's missing its masters. Uh, or you could just select none, and if you are only going to look at a few things, you could check those. But I'm just going to uh, select all of them. It shouldn't take too long to load because it actually keeps uh, the cache um, saved for you. So it'll load these things up, and then if you do have mod groups, it'll ask you if you want to activate any mod groups, but we're not going to look at that. What we're going to look at is this specific mod. This is a mod that reworks Valder's Lucky Dagger to give it some stat changes. So how we would want to check for conflicts is we can right click anywhere on the left side here. And you could, uh, if you're trying to find and patch your entire load order, you could just go click uh, apply filter to show conflicts. But if we want to patch one specific mod, let's say you just added a mod and you want to see if it conflicts with anything, we can go to apply filter to show conflicts selected file only. And by default, it'll check your uh, file that you just had highlighted. If you highlighted multiple things, it'll select those as well. If you want to add anything else, you can do that here. But it'll go through and find any records that have conflicts. So it did bring something up. If uh, there are no conflicts, this won't show up at all. And it looks like the conflicts are right here in this record. Now, don't get too overwhelmed by this, guys. Really, um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of little technical terms, but you can kind of see what uh, they're talking about and what they mean. So anything that's green usually means that uh, no new data is being added, nothing, there's no conflict. So it looks like this is all fine. You can minimize anything that doesn't have conflicts or you can right click, do hide no conflict and empty rows. Now that looks a lot cleaner. So we can see here Valder's rework is trying to add some additional object effects, some full enchantment effects. Uh, and um, yeah, it, it, this mod changes the actual bonus that you get from the dagger. But we have some other mods in our load order that are actually trying to change the model of the Valder's lucky dagger. So this is an example of why load order wouldn't save us. If we load the Valder's rework last, then we would get the effects, but it would be the vanilla looking dagger. Whereas if we load uh, JS daggers after it, it would just completely negate the rework. We wouldn't get any bonus. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to right click on, and typically I would, um, choose whatever has the most data that you actually want to keep. So as you can see here, there's a lot of things that we're going to want to keep from Valder's uh, rework. So I'm going to click here and do copy as override into. And we're going to choose a new ESP flagged as ESL. Let's use that. I'm just going to name it Valder's Dagger Patch. There we go. So we have this new uh, dagger patch that ends up uh, having the exact same effects and everything as our current record here. But what we're gonna wanna do is find the uh, other changes that came before it that we wanna keep. So if I want the dagger to look like the artifacts dagger, I would copy uh, this over 
now we have that model. And then also the first person model. And then if you are modifying a model, typically you would want to keep the same object bounds. And instead of dragging and dropping each one of these, you can actually just take the, um, the group itself, copy that over there. Now it's looking a lot more green. You can do that for any one of these. If I wanted JS instead, I could move these over instead. And you're just gonna wanna move the things that, uh, the records that you wanna keep. So I don't wanna have the description of the JS dagger. I'd probably want the description of the one that actually changes the stats. So now we have a record here that has the object bounds of JS, JS's daggers. Uh, it has the model of JS's daggers, but it has the stats of the Valder's dagger rework. And then after we're done, we can just uh, click these three lines here, click save, hit OK. And that is that. We've now created a simple little patch and in game, we should have a uh, dagger that looks the way we want, the stats that we want. Hopefully this video was helpful guys. Let me know if you want to see some more little X edit tips.